When Civil Site Design creates line work in the drawing, it uses the code, which has been assigned from your template, and uses that code name to create the layer. So you can see for the left edge of bitumen here, the layer that has been used or been assigned to that particular line work is ARD, it was prefixed with ARD, and then the code name has been used. And you can see that's the same for the right hand side as well. If I click on the right hand side footpath, you can see that ARD RFPI is being used. Now, this is being controlled via something called assign layers. And there are two places this can be found. The one place that you can go initially is under the settings panel pull down, you can see CSD layers list. The same tool is also found under CAD output and it's called assign layers. Now in the form we've got basically three options. So we can control the line work that is displayed by the software when it generates line work for our strings. We can also control the 2D and 3D um, polyline output used when we use CAD output. So just for automatic, you'll see that the form is broken down into several columns. The first column is a list of codes. Now this is just a generic list of codes. These are not a list of codes that are necessarily all found in your drawing. The next column allows us to choose whether or not that particular code is drawn on screen. So in this example, I maybe don't want the um, edge of bitumen and the top of curb and back of curb to be shown um, on my particular row template. So I'm just gonna turn those off. The next two columns allow us to use layers within the drawing um, and assign those to those particular codes. So if I click on any one of the pull downs, you can see I've got a whole heap of layers that are available. Now, rather than having to go to, to your layer manager and create layers there, we've added a couple of shortcut buttons. So basically add layer allows you to add a layer into the drawing and use that. And then layer color allows you to pick a color, no different really than going to layer manager. The final column allows you to choose an alternative um, layer for that particular code if you want to override that layer for whatever particular reason. So once you've got this set up, um, we'll talk about adding codes up in a second. Basically, you can save this as a style. So I'm going to just show you a style which I've set up. I'm going to go to, go to the load save button and click on load style. And in there, I've got one called csd-roadlayers.dsp and I click on open. It will ask you if it wants to overwrite the seconds, settings. I'm going to click yes. Now you may find that on the initial import, it, it gives you some funny layer names. So if that does happen, all you need to do is click on OK. Go back to assign layers. And you can see that it's actually done a bit of a tidy up job. So for my footpath on the left hand side, I've actually assigned the same layer. Um, to those two footpath codes, LFPI and LFPO, they're being displayed. Um, but however, obviously, the, because this is a loaded style, I've now got these codes ticked back on again. So I'm showing the LEB code, I'm showing the um, LBK and the LTK, and the same on the right-hand side. So you can see I've now just tidied this up just by turning off those curb codes. And in the background, um, all we've got left is the invert code or nominal curb line and the footpath and batters on both sides. And the question really arises, what happens when we add in extra codes? You can see at the top that when a new code is created and it's not in this list, it will actually go to a layer called CSD-Auto. And we can see this in practice if we close down the form. I've got a grading string here um, for a building platform. If I click on edit grading, and click on the template button. You can see there we've got a code there called LBP. Now that code doesn't exist in my list. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to assign layers, go to add code at the top and go LBP. I can also pick from the pull down list, click okay. LBP has been added in alphabetically. I want that to be displayed and I want it to go on a brand new layer. So I'm gonna call this CSD dash grading and pick on the list CSD dash grading add a color we're going to say it's going to be red and click OK and click OK and immediately you can see that that has been drawn in there or redrawn onto the correct layer and you can see the layer has gone in a CSD grading so you can gradually build this list up continually saving your style and, and as this style is saved, it's being shared to the common folder as well, which I'm going to do here. Um, so that if you're sharing your common folder, you guys can all use this. Okay, now we've reviewed the line work that's been automatically drawn by the software. We can also review how the software generates layers for the CAD output. So this is the 2D and 3D polyline. So I'm gonna click on 2D. 
As soon as we do that, we again get the option to determine which of these codes is drawn when we use CAD output. So all of these are now ticked on, aside from the new one I've just added called CSD grading. So I'm going to tick that on. In the next column, we get to choose how the layer is set up for this particular code. So if I go up to layer styles, you can see that when the software generates a 2D polyline of our uh, particular code, it will prefix the layer with CSD dash and then it will use a road name. So at the moment you can see there that all of the codes are all going onto the, essentially just going to be going onto one layer called CSD dash then my road name. To take this a step further, what we could add is a second modifier and pick code. This means when we run CAD output, the software will draw each one of those lines on a layer which references um, the code that is being used. If we want to use the same layer setup that we're using for the auto, what we can do is actually add our own styles for each individual batch of code. So I'm going to go add new, call this CSD-footpath codes click OK and we don't actually have to use any of the modifiers we can actually just create our own layer just by typing in the road name so I'm going to go CSD dash footpath dash or underscore left and type in the word 2D just so I know that the uh, line work that I'm looking at is the polyline output and click on apply and exit now on my footpath on the left hand side I can then go and choose that particular style footpath codes and footpath codes and I can run that through basically for the entirety of uh, the 2D line work that is generated and assign similar type of um, uh, layer style for the 3D as well and again once you've done that you can then go save as save the style to your common folder for use on other projects now if you want this setup being used for every project going forward you can do that you can do that by going to the roads tab, settings pull down and click on global CSD layers list and this will determine how your layers are set up in every single project going forward. So in there you can load up the style that you've maybe created in assign layers and then click on OK. Every project going forward will now have these particular settings applied.